So me and Shorty, we back in the room, you know, doing what we do. And then I tell her like, hey, your nickname must be Thor. Cause you lifting my mighty hammer right now. You know what I'm talking about? Well, what do you mean we're recording right now? So then we had a hearty handshake and we played a, a game of Parcheesi. Just go ahead and roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome to Trail Theater with your host, B Shack, aka Damn. And today, we're doing Thor Ragnarok. This is the newest Marvel installment, uh, which I believe comes out November, if I'm not mistaken. I know it's set for fourth quarter, I think, or late third quarter. Um, I think the only thing on deck coming up soon is. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, but this will be one of the last installments before we go into, I believe, I think Black Panther is another installment, and then we go into the full Infinity Gauntlet Wars, I'm not sure, uh, I'll post the actual Marvel uh, got storyline right here, so, um, but, you know, uh, Thor has been an interesting story. Uh, he's one of the strongest characters in the Marvel Universe. His storyline hasn't always been I don't I've never been like a hater of the Thor storyline I feel like it was always Marvel again Marvel hasn't really brick with a story You could say some haven't been as good as others the last Captain America didn't have as critical of a claim that the other storylines have the first Thor was good but it was still it was still in that that early stages of Marvel creating the landscape for Marvel so I mean for the actual universe so uh, it had a lot of room to wiggle now that the actual universe is being kind of like defined now it doesn't have that much and I think like they have a great way of going with Thor this time because it can be a lot more fun uh, it doesn't have to be an origin story anymore so I'm excited to see where they go with this path I've heard a few things of the actual leaks of information coming out for the synopsis of the story so I'm excited to see the trailer um, so let's get into it as always, the link to the full trailer will be down in the description down below, as well as the subscribe button, you know, and also my other information if you want to hit me on any of that. Uh, just a lot of stuff will be down in the description, you know, if you want to just kind of check it out. But after the video, check it after the video, hit that subscribe button, then if you want to watch the full trailer and like the big version of it, you can hit that too, but after the video, and after you subscribe. Let's get into the video, or trailer. you're thinking. How did this happen? Well, it's a long story. Asgard is dead. Today, tell me. A contender. It's main event time. He's a friend from work. Oh, come on. Well, okay then. 
my first reaction would be I feel like maybe it was the music um, but I felt a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy vibe in that trailer um, probably be something that everybody notices but it was, seems like even with the neon colors it seemed very rock and rollish very vintage retro kind of what Guardians of the Galaxy brought to the I think to the actual cinematic Marvel Universe was this kind of like 80s nostalgia comic book version of the story. I don't think any other storyline has done that. And I feel like Thor is kind of, I don't know if maybe Guardian of Galaxies will pop up in this storyline. I'm interested in the scene. Uh, I think that's World Crusher Hulk. I think that's his name. I can't remember. God, it's been so long since I actually read that comic book. Uh, but I know that's the World War Hulk. And after, it's a long comic book. You know, he ends up being like, once he goes to space, he becomes like a gladiator. So this is going to be dope to watch. I, I thought that part was hilarious. Um, I know a lot of people might complain that they didn't like leave that as a surprise, but I think that was funny. Like, I know that guy from work. It's like a kind of a work friend. Uh, but nah, it looked humorous. It looks action packed. It looks interesting. I love the bright colors. I love how it seems like I, I love Thor has become like this kind of more humorous version. I feel like that's the one thing about a Marvel Cinematic Universe that they allow their heroes to be humorous. Whereas DC, you don't see a lot of humor. If the humor is very more dark, um, it's like Marvel's willing itself to be funny. And I, I enjoy that. I do enjoy the dark humor of DC as well. So, um, but no, it looked like they didn't give you a lot. I don't, I don't feel like I got a lot from the actual trailer, but it was enough where my interests were stoked. I mean, Again, I think I've said it before in other trailers. Marvel could drop a picture, and I'd be like, "This, yeah, I'm there. I'm there for that." Well, midnight release. I'm here. I'm there for it because I'm excited. I know they. And you never know who, the, what the after after credits gonna be. Will they hunt? Will they hit toward Thanos again? Uh, will they hit toward the Infinity Stones? Will they hint to the Infinity Gauntlet being completed? You know, it's so many things that the after credits can do. So you gotta be there before everybody spoils it. So you know, I mean, I was excited for. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for another version of the trailer. Maybe something longer than a minute. Uh, but no, it, it looked great. I'm excited uh, to see Hulk versus Thor in the arena. I'm excited to see Loki. I'm excited to see the new version of Thor with the short hair and the helmet. Uh, but no, it looks very good. What are your thoughts of the new Thor Ragnarok trailer? Are you excited? Is this on the same par with that you have excitement for Guardians of the Galaxy 2? Or are you a little bit more for Guardians of the Galaxy 2? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. And as always, you can always hit me up on any of my social media. That's a uh, damn look at him Twitter, damn look at him IG, and damn look at him Snapchat. Facebook is damn look at him TV. I'm here to vibe with you. And as always, be kind to one another and be easy. Peace. I see you at the movies.